growl like a tiger. Mew like a kitten. Guess what our first myth is? Still photography? Yes! Most of the alleged evidence that NASA faked the moon landings comes from NASA's own photography, which theorists claim shows clear evidence the moon landing was faked in the studio and could not have been filmed on the moon. Say hoax. Hoax! So these are the photos the guys will focus on. According to Apollo hoax advocates, this shot was taken in a studio because the shadows are not parallel. Supposedly, that's something that could only happen with multiple light sources. Then there's this image of an artfully lit astronaut. Conspiracy cheerleaders claim if he really was standing in the shadow of the moon module, he wouldn't be able to see him so clearly. You know what? Let's do parallel shadows first. How do you want to test it? Oh, I think we should do a large miniature because we can test the placement of all the various elements. It's kind of a complex thing. Yeah, we need a lot of control over those elements. Exactly. All right, let's do it. So first up, the guys need a single super-sized light source to stand in for the sun. Amy, ah, I'd like to introduce you to your son. Over here, I look like one of the aliens in Close Encounters. That's the solar. Now for the lunar. Cue the build montage, because Jamie's making a moon. I've got a good first start on my lunar set. It's just spandex and, um, let's see, Portland cement with a little bone black, which is basically black powder. Ah, uh, that could not be better. What do you say we turn on the lights and uh, see what our shadows look like? Yeah, let's see the light. Let's turn it around. I'm spinning around. Watch your eyes. What do you think? Works for me. We've had the lights, and there's been plenty of action. So where's the... This is the camera that we're going to use. It's a Hasselblad that's very similar to the one that was used on the moon, except that we've put a digital feed out the back so that we can look at the images in real time on a monitor and make comparisons to the original shots. All right, with our sun in place, man, in addition to looking totally freaking awesome, it's pretty clear here, with the ship and the rocks both on a flat surface, that their shadows are totally parallel. And that is what the myth proponents say the NASA photo should look like. Instead, you can see the rock and landing module shadows are in different planes. freaking awesome it's pretty clear here with the ship and the rocks both on a flat surface that their shadows are totally parallel and that is what the myth proponents say the nasa photo should look like instead you can see the rock and landing module shadows are in different planes now we need to figure out what it would take to make them not parallel yeah let's play with the topography underneath it and see what we can get conspiracy theorists say there's only one explanation for this two light sources and since there's only one light source on the moon and that's the sun that's really kicking it forward this has to be shot in a studio we're positing that it's the topography of the moon causing these shadows of the rocks to look like they're not parallel when in fact they are and that's what we're trying to imitate here It's all just about adjusting us directly to the light. What Adam and Jamie have done is simply give the miniature lunar landscape some realistic contours and imperfections. That's perfect. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the shadows appear to move out of their parallel path. And Adam? Happy? <laughs> Dude. You said it looks perfect. Takes his snap. Taking the shot. So I can hear what you're saying. You're saying, but you guys replicated the moon shot on a set and you're special effects artists. In fact, you're exactly the guys that would have hired to do this kind of thing in the first place. That's not the point. The point is we're addressing the specific claim by conspiracy theorists that this photo has only one explanation, and that's two light sources. We've demonstrated here two shadows which are parallel from a single light source which we've made look far off parallel using only the topography that they're sitting on. And I guess that means it's busted. Totally busted. You can achieve shadows that do not look parallel from a single light source.